we've seen a lot of flooding that has, has affected a lot of households. Um, and we need to do more. That's the simple answer to anything that happens. And the, the, the government response and Boris Johnson's response was very slow. He's only finally had a COBRA meeting today. All he's saying, oh, yeah, it doesn't look very good. And, oh, yeah, we need to do a little bit more. Well, that's what the you're saying. Needs to be, you're saying we're not spending to, enough yeah, and we need on. to spend more money. You're not saying any more than that, are you? Well, the government has not said they're going to spend more money. Um, they're just saying, oh, it's, it's terrible. And what we are saying is, is obviously also that we need to take the climate emergency seriously. And I haven't seen this government taking the climate emergency seriously at all. And again, that's international action. If we're doing our, our own little local things, yes, I say, and we need to do community projects to give the money down to local communities. But the climate emergency in itself needs action at international, national well, and it, local it, it, it does, but and we're about to cut off our international cooperation with everybody else. Well, no, no, we're not. We're not actually leaving the EU. Doesn't mean we cut off international cooperation. You seem to have ignored the fact that this country has cut its carbon footprint more than any other country in the European Union. Has that escaped Hang you? Hang on. We have we 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 have done. Um, we have we are not even meeting our own targets. So we um, no, on the on the original targets of 80 percent cut by twenty fifty. We are not even meeting our fourth and fifth carbon budget. So nobody can tell I'll, me that I'll, we are have doing we, have, well. we, we have we lowered our carbon footprint more than any other European well country? We have. That's the fact of the matter. Where isn't it? So, sorry, say that again. Have we or have we not reduced our carbon footprint more than any other developed Europe, Western European country? Yes we or have, no? Um, uh, we have cut our carbon footprint. There's absolutely yep. no more, room more for More than any other country. And, we, and, and this government has continued to more be very than any other country. today. We have... Um, I am looking at what we do as a developed country. Mm. More than any UK other country, though. Done a lot better. Well, maybe, but more but, than, you'll admit that it's more than any other Western European country. More, I, than, more than Germany, uh, more than France, more than the Netherlands, more than Belgium. But, um, the the, the comparison, comparison, each country com, um, sort of cut, um, looks at their, their, their carbon emissions and the way they're cutting it in a different way. The UK could have done a lot okay. better. We have not, um, we are not on target to even meeting our fourth and fifth carbon budget. No time for complacency. This government keeps patting itself on the shoulder for something that, that I think has, there's absolutely no reason during the coalition government. There was, there were a lot of initiatives that were actually um, liberal democrat initiatives since 2015. Okay, let, let me just and break the some news to you. The UK government has rolled back all right. on all its commitment. The Green Investment Bank, it stopped onshore wind, let, it let stopped me... solar panels. We have have not done well enough. Okay, well, maybe you can give me a reaction to this. As breaking news, the government has just announced an extra 100 troops will de be deployed in South Yorkshire to help with flooding recovery. They're also providing communities grant of £500 per household and business grant of 2500 per small or medium-sized business. Do you welcome that? Well, in the, well, in the last few weeks, the UK government has uh, um, announced a lot of, of things that uh, remind me of the magic money tree, and they have not said... <laughs> how can and you they possibly say, say that, it, given that you've just announced from. £5 billion pounds without yes, saying how, where that's exactly, going to come from? Yes, we, we say exactly where that's coming from. That's going to come from infrastructure spending, and that comes from borrowing. And if, oh, if the okay. government is so not to prepared to say where its money is coming from, either through tax so rates do you, do you or welcome from borrowing, this announcement? they're not serious, and they will not tell us how it's coming from. Do you welcome from. this announcement? Well, let, I would welcome that announcement if the government was then telling us how it's going to fund it. Is it through well, borrowing? Well, or I'm, is it through I'm, I'm sorry, of but providing tax. an extra 100 troops and £500 pounds per household isn't exactly going to increase the public sector borrowing requirement by a huge amount, is it? I, I Are you saying they shouldn't do that? Where a government that in, that in, in, it promises investment, that it promises new investment. We're not in talking something. about investment here. We're talking about emergency measures to help the people of South Yorkshire. I'd have thought you would have welcomed that. Well, um, I welcome it. I, uh, it must be very new. Um, uh, uh, it must be a very new announcement. Well, it is. I've it's in the last few minutes. That's why I was asking for in, a, a in the, reaction in the from you. Week. Well, I welcome that if the government then also tells me where the money is coming from. Oh. It comes clean that money doesn't grow on trees and it either has to come from raising taxes or from borrowing more money because the government currently cannot tell me that it's going to raise more money. The how economy much, is how not much doing do you think, better than worse. How much do you think sending from? 100 troops into the area will cost? How much do you think £500 per household will cost, or two and a half thousand per, per business? It's probably two or three million pounds. I mean, you, you, if that came from the EU, I've no doubt you'd be welcoming it with open arms.
I will welcome if the, if the government spending, if it, tell, if it it is honest and comes clean with the people in this country, where the money is coming from currently. You, you do know that you do know that for emergencies, money. the government has a contingency reserve, so it's not actually eating into any other budget other than the emergency contingency. Okay, it's coming from the emergency contingency. So, so you've um, you've just clarified that. I welcome that that spending um, if, if that's what's we got, going to happen. We got there in the end. Um, 